Um, my name is Alexa. I am a first semester master's in international management student. Um, and I look forward to, to speaking to you today and kind of giving you a bit more information about my experience. And then at the end, um, I can talk about um, some of our uh, admissions processes as well, because I, I do also work in the office. So um, thank you for joining us. And I'll let my, um, my partner in crime also introduce herself today too. Hey everyone, my name is Sebastian. I'm a first year creative media production student in Prague College and I'm studying um, all the way from the UAE. I'm here speaking to you from UAE as well. I'm going to be sharing um, all of my experiences from A to Z <laughs> with the college and with my program with you guys. And I'm here to answer all your questions related to the program and the college itself as well. And I look forward to enlightening everyone here today as well. So I just wanted to know, do I go ahead and speak or shall we? Yeah, yeah you can go ahead and um, start, start talking about um, your experiences in the classroom and, and outside the classroom as well. Um, okay, so uh, I uh, come from a background where I was doing a lot of marketing um, at where I stay. So uh, I wasn't, uh, the whole decision to do creative media production was very abrupt for me. I always had it at the back of my mind. I just never knew that I would pursue it. So um, when I found Prague College, um, everything from communication to preparation was so like, it was on point, which is what really helped me um, solidify the whole decision that I really want to study here. Um, so, uh, in, in the preparation orientation week, I got to speak to my course mates and I got to kind of be introduced to everyone um, from student councils, all the societies as well we have through student council. And I was still really nervous in the first week itself. First month was, um, I was a mess because <laughs> I was so worried about, um, how I'm gonna make friends. I, I was already worried about how I'm gonna make friends when I'm in college. So I was really worried about how I was gonna do it online. Um, but um, the college really helped me manage my expectations from the beginning itself. Um, with the program, I already made a few friends um, through induction week, which, which is where we get introduced to the program and to our course mates as well. And um, as, uh, and then even the assignments and stuff that we got through our classes, the creative projects that we got that we would call homework, but didn't really feel like homework because it's so fun. Um, I got to work with a bunch of my course mates as well. One of the main things my friends here told me before I joined college as well was make friends in, within your course. It's really hard to do that when you're studying in college. So I, it was surprisingly easy to do that because I was studying online and um, I got to see I got to evaluate like who I work good with and who I don't because I, I got to be honest it's easier to be honest with people that, that in a creative team when you're working when there's a barrier like a screen between you guys as opposed to <laughs> in person and that really worked out for me um, so uh, there was a lot of um, communication like me like practicing communication came to me like um, it, came, it, it worked as, um, how do I say it? What's the word for it? I don't know. It, it, it helped me like practice my uh, communication abilities. I'm so sorry. Like public speaking is like scary for me. Okay. Uh, I'm the person who likes being behind the camera, not in front of it. Um, so uh, the assignment like make friends within the course and not just that but like my bond with my professors as well was like solid because we got to have um consultations for everything that we felt like we weren't we were falling behind on or any important assignments we had coming up on top of that any like creative ideas you wanted to run by your professors you could just set aside it like put it write them an email be like hey are you free to speak now and they'd be like yeah of course and just take time out of their day to talk to you and it, it 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 was yeah that was really helpful and it's something that I don't think would have been easy to do if you were doing it in person because you'd have to set a meeting with them and then go to college and go speak to them during their office hours it's, it's much harder to do that from my experience um 
but outside of college as well, um, outside of the classes, I mean, um, because during the first week I got introduced to all the activities that and all the societies and groups that exist outside of classes, I got to introduce myself to them and um, I I participated in student council like immediately. I was like, I this is this is the way that I'm gonna meet, I'm gonna meet people, and um, there was no pressure there, which I loved because usually um, there is this like burden or some sort of an expectation on you, especially from what you see on TV when you join student council that you have to be super active all the time. There was none of that. It was more like if you want to participate in whatever we're talking about on the group, you get to part you can participate. And if you don't know hard feelings, and I love that because I feel like it's already so hard that we're doing everything online. It is hard um, that, that when people aren't putting that pressure on you, it, it like, it makes, it just, it just feels like breezy and you feel like, okay, fine. I can, I can like, I can dip my toe in this event a little bit or like this project a little bit. It's okay. Um, I also, through the introductions that um, I put out in, um, sorry, <laughs> I got distracted. Uh, through the introduction in student council itself, I got to talk to a few people about doing projects outside of student council as well. And um, when we had the well, uh, welcome week as well, um, I I got to I I I participate. I took the responsibility to host it, mm -hmm. um, and I was hosting the random chat room, and I was really afraid of that. It it seemed really scary to me, um, mm -hmm. because I was like, who wants? Who's gonna come to the random chat room? <laughs> And uh, it turned out to be the only room that stayed up the latest, like to the point, like the recording got passed on to me. We were up, I was in Dubai, I was up to like four in the morning wow. talking to people. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I got to meet, like I, through the random chat room, I met a bunch of people that I spoke to afterwards as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there is a question. Do we answer that now or do we answer it later? Yeah. Yeah, we can answer that now. So um, the first question that came through community wise, how did you adjust in the school? And how did you stand out online in school? And also kind of besides your chosen program? Are you doing other courses? Or do you only focus on your own? Um, so uh, sorry, hold on, there's mm -hmm. someone in the room. Um, so my internet went out at home, so I had to come to my neighbor's house and um, there's going to be a few interruptions here and there because it's not my own house. I'm sorry about that. Um, how did I adjust in school and stand out online? So it, whatever you pick up from your classes, I feel like it, if you, you just put, I, for me personally, I put all of that into my creative work, especially all the emotions that you feel with how, what's going on in the news and um how you're feeling about being at home and how you're dealing with your own anxieties and stuff like that because yes like um, um being locked down at home and stuff it really it, it weighs down on your mental health as well I really put all of that into my creative work and I, I constantly asked for help from my classmates my course mates were a godsend honestly the friends that I made online were they dealt with my because I'm such a perfectionist Mm -hmm. I'm such a perfectionist that I started freaking out about the littlest things and I would consult them every step of the way. Even my teachers, I was, I would consult them every step of the way. And even the dumbest questions that I had, I would just email it to them. And um, that's how I'd, I would perfect my work. And I think that the teachers really see that and they really credit you for that. And that's how I really stood out, I think, so far. <laughs> I think so. I think I stood out. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I, I was just kind of thinking about my, my experience as well in the in the master's program. I, I think I was the same. I, um, you know, having everything kind of at home, um, I was really in touch with people from my, my program and we kind of like shared ideas and kind of chatted about different things. And um, I think I, I talked with my lecturers more than if I, if it, they were in class because I felt like they were Kind of so um, so accessible um, digitally. So maybe maybe that's just how they 
they always are um, because it's my, my first semester. I don't know if they're always that, you know, that accessible every semester or if it's um, being online, but it just, it was so great. And I, I felt like all of my questions were answered. I didn't go without um, knowing something. Um, and I agree, I think it, it showed at the end of my, my work. I, I, I think I'm similar to you, Tabitha. I, I, I look at for every single little detail and I kind of like want it to be perfect. So um, yeah, I think studying online was fine um, and adjusting to, to being online, it, it was a change, but it didn't feel like a, like a big change. I don't know. But I don't know what you think. Um, it definitely felt like a big change, honestly. How can you say it didn't feel like a big change instead <laughs> of a person you're sitting behind the screen? Of course, it's a big change, but um, I felt like I had more guts to speak up in class mm -hmm. discussions than I would have in person because in person you have to raise your hand and like, uh, you know, like it's it's a whole process, but the conversation for more smoothly online so i felt like if we're still on the topic of standing out online that's how i was it the whole that whole formal process is eliminated once you are behind the screen so that's yeah that worked as an advantage for me mm. um and then Besides my uh, class as well, I was doing other projects as well. Like I, I work part time as a freel I freelance in events. So I work as a hostess or usher or promoter from time to time. So I do balance all that out. And I all I had to do was drop my teachers an email and say, hey, I might not make it for this class. Is that OK? And can you record it for me? And they say they tell me like if they think it's concerning or if it's not, if they think I need to catch up with a class and I shouldn't attend and they tell me honestly, but so far they've recorded whatever I needed to be recorded mm -hmm. and I catch up with it like the night after I'm done with work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, also, uh, there is another question too. Um, what has been the subject you've enjoyed the most so far? Um, I loved uh, so we have a teacher called Masha. Uh, she teaches us visual storytelling. Mm -hmm. And uh, Robert Carithers is also a professor. For, so it's taught by two professors. Mm -hmm. And um, we started off the classes um, with talking about photography. And I felt so lost. I, uh, it, it was because I have, I have no background, by the way, with filming or taking pictures or working with a camera very intensely, like none of that. I work with an iPhone and like take random pictures, not even selfies, that's, so I was afraid of not, like I, that's when I really started feeling lost the first week. Like I said, I was spiraling. It's because like, I was like, okay, what if I don't belong in this course? <laughs> um, but the teachers really understand that if you don't come from a background, it's okay, you know? Mm -hmm. So I would, we had a, an assignment, for example, like we have to, have a theme for five images that we take and the t the class would guess what the theme was mm. i had three because i wasn't happy with anything i took and the teachers were like and uh, robert our professor at the time was like it's cool that's okay and he just asked me to talk about the pictures and i was completely fine so um and then like when Masha stepped in, she had presentations about different kind of art and, and th throughout the eras and stuff. And what we would do is kind of dissect art. And I felt like I was in my element in that class, even though I felt like some of the stuff I was saying was the same every time. Like, oh, I feel like it, you know, that person who like looks at art and talks about it, like, oh, this is like, I can see it's like a white picture. And you're like, oh, I see depression or loneliness or something and I like I really felt I was in my element for that and that was really fun for me so mm -hmm. visual storytelling and I did fairly well in my class as well I'd like to brag because like I wasn't the best student in high school so, <laughs> so that was yeah mm -hmm. I think um so for me in the master's program one of my classes was um it was called developing self and others and we looked a lot at um, kind of our imperfections in in the workplace and kind of how we interact with other people um, and maybe how we're perceived as well and dissected that and looked at what we can do to improve ourselves and 
um, the final project was to put together kind of a, a game plan uh, and a timeline of what wh what we plan to do. So it was it was definitely really eye opening and um, you know so, some things weren't fun um, to kind of realize about yourself, but it was definitely a really um, really enriching class and I learned a lot about myself and the how kind of different people perceive different things um, because in in our, our program we have people from from all over the the world so you know some of my classmates are in in different continents so talking about your perceptions of of people and actions and things like that it really um, made the class so interesting and um, really challenging at the same time. So um, yeah, I think that's that's one of the classes I, I really enjoyed uh, this semester. Although my, my other class was my research proposal for my dissertation. So this one was de definitely a lot more um, um, for me personally, um, kind of interesting in, in that way. So um, yeah, that, that was that's fine. Um, so Tavisa, maybe if you want to talk about some of the other um, other things you've kind of done outside of class, because I, I think you were involved in student council and any anything else. Yeah, so I was involved um, in the student council, and I'm actually I'm actually working on something through the student council as well. I mm -hmm. I thought about it last semester, and I got. Um, news from my student advisor that it's okay and it's a really good idea so I wanted to start a film club like where we watch <laughs> films together because we're all in different parts of the world so we could watch films together and kind of review it over a drink or something like that and see what we liked about it and what like what we don't and stuff and um yeah so I'm, I'm planning on taking that ahead and like I said like there was no pressure for me to do it last semester because I felt like I was already taking on too much um and um I also, because of student council, I got to meet some people that were working that are working on a uh, magazine for Prague College as well. And I was working on a podcast with them, but it didn't fall through. I feel like um, because um, it was everyone's first semester that I was working with on that project, um, people kind of sidelined that and then focus on their program, which is completely fine as well. So that didn't work out. But it's gonna come out though. They're still gonna have the magazine and stuff. So mm -hmm. I, I'm like excited for you guys all to see it. Mm -hmm. um, um, other than that as well, I joined the yoga society with our student advisory, Nellie. It's so nice of her to take her time off because student societies are supposed to be run by students, but she's really taking her time to kind of, um, she really like stepped in and took a lead and she's kind of like a hero because <laughs> we really yeah. need stuff like that to, um, to take us away from our screen and, and give us something else to focus on um, during the week. So it really helped me as well. Like when you're sitting in front of the screen, your back hurts if you don't have a good chair and I don't have a good chair. <laughs> so it, it helps with my back pain and stuff and my posture as well. And I just feel a lot lighter and stuff. And so it's, the yoga society has been um, really helpful for me. Um, I want to get involved in other societies as well, but I just don't know where I belong right now. <laughs> like I wanted to get involved with a music society, but I'm like, if I have to sing, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna drown. Like I want the ground to eat me. <laughs> so I'm really afraid to like sign up for that. But there's so many options there as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then during induction week as well, I got to meet a few people that are in Dubai as like speak to them. I saw someone introduced that they were from Dubai and I messaged them instantly. And he, he kind of, he dropped out because of visa issues, but he's going to join again, um, coming up this Feb, I think, mm -hmm. I don't know, whenever the, next, yeah, it's Feb, right? So yeah. he's going to be joining. Um, and, um, he, I messaged him like, oh my God, you're from Dubai. We should totally hang out. And he emailed me. He took my emails and he's like, he, he's like my Dubai friend. That was the subject. And oh. we started talking and he followed me on Instagram. And then as we had more of those like meetings and stuff, um, I, through student council as, again as well, I met like another friend and um, who's studying business as well, a foundation in business. Mm -hmm. I don't know the course name exactly, mm -hmm. but um we all kind of put an Instagram group together and we said we need to meet. And this is so, I think it's like very Dubai culture. We just say we're gonna meet and it doesn't happen. So I didn't really think it was going to, but we all just met up for a drink. Mm -hmm. And um, 
It was so chill. I, I was, I was nervous. I thought that because I was meeting people from different cultures and stuff, different cultures and countries and backgrounds online, I, it's like, I kind of forgot how it feels to talk to people from Dubai itself, because for so long, I've been trying to like navigate around meeting people from all around the world. Um, it was so refreshing, 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 sorry, <laughs> refreshing and, and um, wholesome, the whole meeting. And we all talked about the same experience we're having with trying to navigate around meeting people from different countries, because like there's always there's always that bit of culture shock that comes with like moving to a different country and it or it felt it really felt like we moved to a different country even though we didn't mm -hmm. so that was that was major what majority of our conversations were and then we just started being weird and talking about um <laughs> other stuff we started talking about like, stuff we'll miss and when we leave and um yeah what we're gonna miss about Dubai culture as well because we're all like expats here so um yeah, it was it was really cute, and I really liked it. We're gonna have another meeting as well soon, whenever that works out, because we it's one of those things where we just dropped it in the group, like, hey, we should meet up again. <laughs> so we're waiting for a date and a, and, a, and a location. So we'll see when that happens. Mm -hmm. We are joining the and not just the by like in my program itself, we. There's someone from Egypt and in our uh, program and anyone from the Middle East, just it just feels like a warm hug for me when they say they're from the Middle East, even though I'm not, I'm from Bangladesh, I'm not even from UAE, like, um, it's like, we like bonded like instantly as well in our program because it was just comforting to know that there's someone from the Middle East going to Prague College as well in our, in our program. So mm -hmm. that, that's, been, that's, that's been a really fun, unexpected experience for me. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Awesome. I, I love to hear that too. It's so, it's so fun. I mean, it's, it's different for me because I'm in, I'm in Prague already. So, um, and I, I've been here for over five years. Um, so it's not, I didn't really have that move experience, but I am, um, I'm excited to have my classmates get here <laughs> and, and meet them in person because I have met them online and, you know, I feel like I know them. Um, so it's, yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to seeing them here and, and also, you know, just making those friends in person too. Um, we had a couple more questions. So um, how long are the classes and how often do you attend? How many times per week? Um, well, we have classes five days of the week and then the two weekends. Um, sometimes like, like a teacher will say, okay, today's not important so you don't have to attend the class um except on these we have um so far that's been my schedule it changes of course i don't know what my schedule for next semester is going to be like but our classes are like two hours long it's not mm -hmm. really heavy um it can be really hard to um sit through the classes for two hours in front of a screen so they give us every 30 minutes they give us like a five ten minute break to go and get a coffee or walk around the house or go get some sun outside and then come back and rejoin the class so that's that's our schedule that's how it's been i'm really happy with the schedule especially with the time difference it works out really good for me mm, yeah yeah i bet um i know with ours we all, i only have my classes once a week so at the master's level um each class is only once per week for two hours each time um, and I'm in the standard format so kind of the part time so it's definitely doable um, you know uh, online it's two or four hours a day after work um, and there there was another a question actually so about um, are you in the Czech Republic or from the Czech Republic and if not do you have uh, a job besides college so um, I do I'll, I'll go ahead and answer that one I work Full time and then go to school part time um, after after work. Um, the master's programs are designed to be taken, uh, or at least the international management program that I'm in is designed to be kind of taken by working professionals. So the classes are only in the evenings. Um, it will depend on you know where where other people are located and what time it is in in your time zone, but. Um, here it's definitely doable to to work full time and, and also um, go to school. And Tabasum, are you are you working? Are you, you you said you were? Yeah. 
Yeah, currently I'm working on a three month project at the Dubai the Expo 2020. I don't know if you are aware of that, but um, it's the world expo basically like how Paris had the Eiffel Tower I don't know where the last expo was but anyway um I'm working in retail right now for them it's my first retail experience that I'm getting and um so I had to like miss the last three weeks of my um pot in or through presidents and then whatever questions I had I would send it over to my teachers um obviously like it depends on the way of how much work you're going to have to do as well in, in your program. So I think that I might have to drop out on that job specifically um, for the next semester because it's going to be very practical work for me. It's going to be a lot of filming and editing. And I don't know that I can personally balance that with working a nine, like nine hour job. So I might look for other work and um, like short, short, short time work. What the hell? I'm sorry. I stutter. Um, but um, work that lasts for a shorter amount of time per week. And um, hopefully that will work out. And the amount of work that I'm going to have to do for my classes. But it's so far not been an issue. I've done plenty of other work as well throughout the sem last semester. Mm -hmm. um, and it was fine. Yeah, good. Um, and then another question. Um, are there people who do more than just one program? So I think um, there are more than, more than one bachelor's program at a time. Um, to my knowledge, usually students only do one program. It is quite a lot of work. Um, so to you know, enroll in more than one degree at a time, I think it would be um, a lot. Uh, also classes are usually only offered at one time per day. And, per year. So it would really kind of um, be quite challenging to kind of navigate that. We do have beginner Czech classes. So if, if you know, people are interested in learning Czech online, you can do that too. I don't know, did you take the, the Czech classes this semester or no? I was late signing up for it. I really okay. wanted to, but I've been playing with Duolingo and trying to learn it, but I don't think it's any, it's very useful because when it comes to conversational check, it's very different from, you know, what you learn on an application. So, um, but from like what I know as well, it's, if we're talking about, um, you're talking about getting jobs with like, mm -hmm. without the knowledge of Czech language. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of friends who are there, um, or not a lot, like a few, I'm not that popular. <laughs> I know a few people who are there <laughs> um, who don't know the Czech language, but were able to but it's not so much money that would, you know, pay rent. It will pay for your groceries and stuff like that. But that also depends on whether you're looking for a job with a company or just part-time work at a restaurant or something like that. So yeah, that's all I have. That's all the information I can give you because I'm working from Dubai. So I don't, I don't know much yet from experience. Mm -hmm. So your, your friends here, um, they have found work kind of. Yeah, so I'm like, the Czech students in my program as well told me that with like my level of English language that I will be able to find work if I really, really want to work. Mm -hmm. But then again, it's like, it's whether you take on that um, work with the workload of your classes as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so it's, it shouldn't be too hard I, from what I've heard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so have you gone to any of the other events that have happened this last semester? So like the, um, I think there was a, the Christmas party or the, the Halloween party or any of the speakers or anything? So for the Halloween party, I, I love Halloween. So I kind of had to miss out on that one. I kind of did Halloween over here with my friends. <laughs> um, but I joined for the Christmas party because I'm a Muslim. So we don't really have a Christmas party at home. And I baked, um, we were baking cookies cookies with um a, a former student who owns buns and bites i forgot her name because i missed the beginning of that meeting it's at the beginning of the event um but i speak to her now on um on instagram as well because i i, I videos of me making tea and she's really fascinated by how i make tea mm -hmm. um 
we made cookies together and I think there was like a little mix up with the ingredients that she gave us and she gave she the portions that she told us for the ingredients and I don't know how to cook like I don't understand how ingredients work in the kitchen I just follow whatever is on the page I bought everything that was said and it was a lot it was meant to bake cookies for an entire house and I only have three people at home so we had a lot of cookies so <laughs> we had way too many cookies and I was really following along as well and I realized you weren't really supposed to follow along what she was doing so I was like rushing everything and stuff but it was still so fun I was I realized later on like oh I'm not supposed to follow her like I'm just supposed to see what she's doing and then try to do it on my own later uh-huh. but it's fine the cookies turn out great I stayed up all night trying to cut all those cookies because it was a lot um but it, tasted, it was worth it it tasted amazing so that was really fun as well and then there was like a little dance party that was happening as well where uh the dj the girl who was djing also um was teaching us some dance moves like with afro beats music huh? and i recorded myself in my room doing like <laughs> i'm like oh if it looks good then i might post it but it looked horrible but it was so fun I really broke a sweat doing that so that was really fun like I'm like if I'm like this at home can you imagine what I'm gonna be like when I come to college I can't wait to embarrass myself well you'll already know everyone so it won't be so embarrassing right or it might just be even more embarrassing because I'll know them and they'll have leverage on me for the rest of my life oh no what about you? Have you attended the events? Uh, yeah, I've gone to a few. I know um, I've gone to the master speaker series. So as part of the like my program, they encourage us to go to the the speakers kind of from that area. So um, I'm really I I found them quite interesting. They weren't um, they weren't necessarily something I might have searched out to learn about. Uh, on my own. So for example, the last one was on cryptocurrency, um, but I did find it interesting. So I, I'm really appreciative that, you know, that they're kind of trying to, to broaden our, our horizons um, and learn about different things. And I know for next semester, they're bringing in some lecturers who aren't necessarily, you know, in Prague or from Prague. So in the past, you know, when it was in person, we could only have people from the area because they were all in person um but i know there are some kind of cool ones coming up um this coming semester so it should be should be nice to have um kind of different different input from from other places which should be fun um i've actually also been to nelly's yoga class so i enjoyed her sessions as well um and yeah i agree it's a really nice way to kind of end the day um the, the classes that I have are at six o'clock um, in the evenings, my time. So it's a really nice, you know, have work, have school, and then just kind of chill. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's a nice way to unwind. <laughs> like she really considers what you're going through as well. Cause she asks you like, how was your day or how was your week? And then she'll say, okay, did you notice anything different in the session? And I think for, like in the first session itself, like I forgot to breathe. I wasn't breathing throughout the whole thing. So I just feel like that was my thing. So every time I'm there, she's like, I'm really reminding you guys to breathe. <laughs> like, I, I love that about her. She really pays attention to these little details. And even um, like when it comes to like de-stressing, that's not the only thing that's helped me de-stress. We've also had with, with like I said, with the music, um, society Mm -hmm. we had a little kahoot game in the middle of the week where Mm -hmm. um again we all grabbed a drink and just kind of had a chat over um the quiz and it it was it was just a little bit of banter a little bit of performance here and there and Mm -hmm. some people sent in recordings rather than performing live because it's easier Mm -hmm. to do that than it's it's a little bit intimidating to perform live in front of people even though it's just a a close bunch of people Mm -hmm. um it was really fun that one and i also actually went out of my way to arrange a little um like gathering type of thing on on zoom with uh, people from my uh program our program has been divided into two so i think it's because it's easier to pay attention to um people when it's like a smaller number of people in a zoom call so and we all come together during like for like one or two classes during the weekend Mm -hmm. um 
where we kind of just have discussions and share our work with each other. And um, what I did was I kind of just, we have a WhatsApp group for the entire um, uh, creative media production first year pro, pro like students. Mm -hmm. And I was like, hey, uh, we got through like a really hard presentation that we were all losing sleep over um, <laughs> because it was a lot of theory and stuff like that. We're like, we've lost a lot of sleep over this. I think it's time to celebrate that we're finally done with it. Mm -hmm. So I like made an event on Google and I invited everyone over and like it was, the turnout wasn't great because everyone I guess has like a life outside of Zoom <laughs> as well. So you can choose not to come, no hard feelings. And like uh, like four or five people came and it was still fun you know, to get to know people from the other side of the, um, the other group of mm -hmm. our program um that was really fun for me mm, yeah that's awesome that's really cool i know our our um cohort is quite small so i i actually really enjoy that as well um instead of a big um, lecture where you, i feel like i would get lost maybe the the small classes that i really feel like i can yeah maybe like what you mentioned before i can kind of speak my mind and not be so afraid that um, I'll say the wrong thing maybe um, so that the small groups I it kind of helps me get to know people easier or better and maybe feel a little bit less nervous um, we also use the breakout rooms I'm not sure if, if you use those in your your classes so much but we they um, they'll divide us into groups of two and or three and then we'll have smaller discussions and talk about a, a case study or something and then kind of go back to the main room and one person presents from from our small group so even if someone isn't um, you know isn't so comfortable talking about that subject or they're not quite sure then it's a group consensus <laughs> uh, about that thing so they really kind of give us all opportunity yeah. to speak but uh, don't don't make us every time if, if we don't feel comfortable doing so. Yeah, okay. So for us, I think in the beginning with uh, Robert for visual storytelling as well, he did do the whole breakout room thing. He's like, oh, we have like two minutes, put together a storyline and then <laughs> we'll try to make it in, in like, we'll try to put it into like a one minute video. And I got put into, I just made Caroline mm -hmm. her and I kind of were like panicking like oh no what the hell did we do now? um and we just started throwing ideas at each other and we like we went from like a story with a girl or whatever to oh let's talk about anxiety and let's talk about the phases that you go through with anxiety so um the, the breakout room in that sense has been really helpful and we got to keep it a surprise as well from the rest of the class by not discussing it in front of the class so Robert came in and asked us and he's like oh okay cool that's really interesting I can't wait to see what you're doing and um it turned out really fun to make it didn't have to be all our original works we could use work from other people as well and try to because yeah. it's not really for posting public it's for yourself and just to see like what what abilities you have with editing and uh taking videos so um yeah that's that's one thing that we've uh, mm -hmm. really fun. Wait, am I asking? Okay, wait, what am I answering? I kind of forgot my like what we're answering. Yeah, no, that's okay. Um, it, it, we kind of just went off. We talked about online events and like different things that you had been a part of and, and joined. Okay. Um, so, has, have you had anything else or um, put on anything else in Dubai, for example? I got to I got to work on a film festival because of um, one of our class teachers and she emailed us that this person from Los Angeles is looking for people to volunteer at a film festival and there's a chance you could make a little money off of it but I didn't really do it for that I kind of mm -hmm. just did it because I wanted to see what other people do and how I could implement it into my own work as well mm -hmm. so um, you get work opportunity through your professors as well. Like they'll keep you in mind if you, t if, even if you let them know, like they'll like, like, like if anything comes up, they will keep you updated if there is any work. We also have a digital career board on Moodle, mm -hmm. um, which is the platform that we use for um, um, studying online and keeping up with our assignments and all our um, tests and test mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not really what they call them, but if you look at it in the, mm -hmm. Uh, old sense it's basically a test <laughs> um 
it's where we keep up with all that stuff and there's a digital career board on there which is basically where we get postings for job um jobs and stuff so you can sign up for volunteering and stuff over there as well um we also have um a lot of speakers come to um college mm-hmm. um, a lot of the times they really align I mean, I mean i guess they're planned that way obviously they really align with what we're talking about in class mm-hmm. um and i mean you can that's really inspiring and stuff as well those are just like some of the events that i really enjoyed actually i really enjoyed the um the guest speakers coming into college a lot of my friends who've been studying outside for a very long time were like you already have guest speakers that's insane i'm sorry i'm gonna put myself on mute for a second because my neighbor wants to get into the room because in their house so just yes of course of course. For- <laughs> of course um yeah i definitely agree you know the, the um the master speakers that have come in, like I said, are really uh, interesting and, and different. Um, and I think the the programs have done a really good job in um, bringing people in from a wide range of topics so that there's kind of something for everyone from all departments. Because um, we do have you know a series in for business, one in art and design, and also one in media and IT. So there's kind of something for everyone and what you're you're looking for or your interest area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna have to leave soon because uh, my neighbor um, needs the room. <laughs> so um, if there's anything else that you need me to talk about, let me know. <laughs> no, that's okay. I'm just kind of um, looking to see if there's anything else. Uh, was, was there anything that maybe you thought was um, challenging kind of at the beginning and kind of how did you overcome that that difficulty throughout the semester um for a lot of people not for me because in dubai the lockdown was not that strict Mm -hmm. because we already had our strict lockdown at the beginning of the year um people a lot of people were trying to navigate through the lockdown and working on creative projects from their house that was really interesting to see the outcome of Um, Mm -hmm. So, and for me, like personally, it was not knowing how to use a camera and uh, stuff like that. And what our professors would kind of just send us out and tell us to, I carried for the first, I carried my camera with me wherever. So I kind of got used to the settings and I wasn't so intimidated by it. Mm -hmm. So that's how I overcame that obstacle. It was really scary. And for people who had the issue with the lockdown, they worked with projects from within their house. Um, mm-hmm. And they couldn't do it visually, they did it through their writings. And that was really fun to see as well. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's how mm-hmm. I went around that. And I'm sure there's so many more. I just can't remember right now because I overcame it. So I'm like <laughs> over it. But if you want to find a way to like jump the hurdles. And if there's, you know, like for me, I, I was really stuck with my script. Uh, the first idea that I had for my script, it, I was like, it's too dark. I don't know if I want to work on this for the whole semester. So I spoke to my professor and I was like, hey, is it okay if I change my idea? I kind of had a random like breakthrough in between class. And um, she told me, yeah, of course, what did you have in mind? And I told her my idea and she's like, wow, it's really great work on that build on it don't just keep it like she kind of like plants these little seeds in your head and then it makes you like think in all different directions and that like built I built that into like a 10 page script which I never thought I could do it was like a little like one paragraph that I had as of an idea turned into like a 10 page script so that was really interesting I also really wanted to drop the idea halfway through because I just lost faith in it because I'm like this is not good enough. Like who would want to watch this if I continue to write it? And um, she told me, don't drop it. It's a really good idea. Like you get, you get plenty of encouragement. And if you're not doing a good job with it, your teachers will also tell you you're not doing a good job. Just drop it and then come up with something else that's fine as well, you know? So that was, I really liked that. I, mm-hmm. I feel like also because we're studying online the teachers are a little nice. Like, like a little extra nice. I don't know. Is that normal? I don't know. Maybe <laughs> college because with an ex, with another student that I'd spoken to, who's I think in her 
last year maybe now or second year mm -hmm. um before I joined college I've spoken to a, a student from the program and she told me the same thing that teachers are just really nice here so mm -hmm. maybe it's not just the, because yes. we're studying in the middle of a pandemic <laughs> just nice in general but it's really hard to wrap my head around because I'm so used to teachers being so tough on you all the time like and that's yeah. the background that I come from so it was that was shocking for me to mm. work around but I'm, I'm getting used to it and I like it <laughs> yeah I, I would definitely agree with that I think that they the feedback that they give is honest so you know they're they're not going to tell you that it's great when it's not but they're also not going to um tell you it's terrible and that's it. Like they're they're going to give you kind of solid feedback and how how to move forward and kind of which which parts to expand on and um, which areas are which areas you are doing well in because they they do want you know us to to feel feel good. Um, so I definitely had that throughout my semester too that I didn't feel I felt like I had a direction and there was always something somewhere to go um, even if I was doing well. I still had a lot to improve upon um, in different areas. So um, it was my first semester in a British um, format because I had my undergraduate in the US. So it was definitely a different system of, of grading and um, education and everything. So they really, they made sure that we knew what was happening and you know we weren't lost. Um, there is one more question. So before um, we have to go, so uh, what is the main advantage to studying at the college and what professions are there? So maybe if, if Tavisum, you can answer what you might think the main advantage is from studying with us. Um, so the main advantage from me, the re and also kind of the reason why I chose this program specifically as opposed to any other country and any other programs that they offer is because I feel like this entire course is very well structured and career oriented mm -hmm. in the sense that we learn how to we learn the beginning of you know the process the middle and the end and how to market it when you're done and towards the end of the semester we even work on a portfolio which a lot of universities don't really put aside an entire like class for it specifically mm -hmm. so we have a whole class that's put aside just to help you put together a portfolio and get ready to go out and look for jobs when you're done i haven't reached that part of the mm -hmm. program yet but this is the reason why i chose it i can see like how that would work out and how they're being honest with the promise that they've given because even that was also one of my questions it just also like provide you with contacts like i got to work on the film woman at uh, women's voices now film festival in los angeles as a previewer so i watched the films and then i would kind of get to say if it, if it goes forward or, go, or doesn't if it doesn't meet the guidelines so like i'm getting experience in the field so i can so i feel like they're already keeping their promise so that's reassuring to know mm -hmm. so i think that's how it's helpful and i think that there is promise of finding work after depending on whatever field you decide to go into mm -hmm. definitely and actually there was one more question for you um, what are some of the main topics that you've covered in, in creative media production um, so for uh, visual storytelling, we studied about different kinds of art formats and different kinds of um, formats or um, what's it called? I'm not finding the right words right now, but basically it, the different rules basically that go into um, filming that you don't realize, like if someone, if there's like a close up on someone's face and there's a sound coming from somewhere else that has no relation to the the what's being shown on screen itself that itself it also is called something else like I wouldn't have known that if it wasn't for the course and it's not something I would really go out and look for online or try like I would be able to learn on my own so those are kind of some of the things that I learned and even kind of like the transition um art and music and um and film throughout the years as well, and how some of what was used before is coming back into just like fashion is coming back into film now, and mm -hmm. how you can use it in your own work. And how I also really learned with this class specifically that film isn't just putting a movie on a big screen, it's also artwork. 
I didn't ever consider that. And I would have never thought, okay, cool. I could maybe be an artist, but not like specifically a director for like a big, big like movie on Hollywood, you know, like I, I, that would have never crossed my mind. So I'm, that's some of the stuff that we've covered um, with script writing, which is narrative, which is writing narrative plot and character, which I just call it script writing because it's easier than <laughs> saying that whole <laughs> name. Um, we, we, we just rewrote a script and she kind of covered the basic rules that go into um, uh, coming up with an idea and how to put it on paper. And then we just have discussions over it. More like, it felt more like a um, focused course itself and like in itself. Uh, rather than a, a class in a, within a big program um, because we were kind of com conversing like adults mm -hmm. and um, a lot of the times you have to kind of go out and look for the information yourself a little bit here and there mm -hmm. um, based on what you're working on because everyone else was working on a short film whether while I was working on a um, short um, web series so that's, so there's different rules for different things. And I had to kind of do a little bit of research outside of that and then go back to my teacher and say, is this correct? Is this correct? So that's kind of what we were learning. We were really learning to be adults basically with the, some of the classes. Um, and I also did a theory class within which we learned media theories that really helps you question why you want to make the content that you want to make. And every, what I really appreciate, I loved about the um, program so far is that all the three classes we've done, there's three classes, so we do every semester, I think. Mm -hmm. um, so the three classes we've done are all kind of interlinked with each other and they all, there's a reason why you're doing them all together in one semester. And I really like, I've, I've, I've really taken some time to appreciate that. That really made me feel really good about my choice in Prague College. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I'm just seeing if there are any more questions that we can get to before we go. Um, I think that's that's everything. So um, I was just going to give a little bit more information about the um, the start semesters. So we do have a semester, uh, our second semester, and hopefully maybe your first semester. Uh, begins on February 22nd, so in two weeks from today, and we still do have spaces open in most of our programs. So if you are interested, please feel free to get in touch with us, um, or if you already have uh, an admissions advisor, just let them know that you still want to apply. If you already have your application, please go ahead and submit that because there is still time. Um, we do also have applications for September 2021 out already, so if you wanted to go ahead and um, apply early, we do actually have an early application round at the end of this month too, where you can receive some benefits. So if you wanted to go ahead and do that, we would be very happy to help you through the admissions process too. So um, thank you everyone so much for joining us today. Um, we were so happy to have you here and, and answer. There are so many questions. I'm, I'm so happy with that. <laughs> Ashley, if you want to reach out to me as well, I think, Alexa, is it okay if I leave like my social media or something on there or my email, or they sure. could reach out to you for my email or something as well? If yep. you feel like you'd feel more comfortable talking to me in person as well, you could just maybe like talk mm -hmm. to me on Instagram. I use Instagram a lot more active there. It's um, it's so weird. I don't want to say it out loud. I wish I could type it somewhere, but it's uh, uh, maybe... If, if you want to type it to me, um, I, we can make sure that uh, you post it too. Oh, sorry, no, I, okay. my internet connection is a bit unstable. No, that's okay. Um, if you wanted to even type it in, um, in the chat here, um, I can make sure it kind of, it goes out and, um, People have it if they if they want. Perfect. Cool. Yep. I've sent it forward. Great. Thanks, Tavisim. Well, thank you everyone for joining.